Welcome to slide number 7 strategies we are continuing with strategies of teaching maths for slow learning children in this slide i'm going to cover five points use visual aids make it relatable use hands on activities break down complex problems and provide extra practice use visual aids like diagrams charts pictures which will help your child to understand the mathematical concepts Make it relatable. Try to relate math problems in real life scenarios that these children can understand easily. Connect it to child's real life. Use hands on activities, uh, activities like using manipulatives, building blocks, which can help convert the abstract concepts into concrete concepts for them to, ma to, for them to absorb the math concepts. Break down complex problems like problems into smaller, smaller, smaller fragments. More manageable parts, they, they'll be able to learn it better. If, if there is a word problem, break it down to three small parts. Then part by part, once you explain to them with the help of pictures, the child will be able to give you the process of doing that sum. Provide extra practice. So with slow learners may require more practice than others. So provide extra, extra, extra practice. So if suppose you are doing three sums with the whole class, make sure you have five sums for these kids and you have a separate worksheet for them. So in my center, how I used to work or even in my school, I used to tell the teachers that if you are giving worksheets to children, you should have three levels of worksheets. One for the higher performers. So give them... If, they, if you have taught them the concept of addition, then the higher performer children should either have more number of sums or they should have the more difficult sums. The average children is what is focusing on the school curriculum, whatever the textbook is expecting them to do. And the children who are slow learners, I would tell the teachers to make worksheets simpler for them or if they are, if the average child is given six sums to do, they should be given only four sums to do and four simple sums to do but yes they, they need because they need more practice so give them similar sums to do so that they get confidence of doing it now you'll ask me how can we divide the class into three and how will the children feel it's just a matter of explaining to them who needs how much every batch of children will want to push themselves to the next level suppose you see the average children performing very well tell them okay you, I can give you another worksheet of a higher level if you want to solve it and if they are able to do it, push them to the higher level. See, in, in career also, everybody is going to face this. We are all going to join any organization at one level. But only if we push ourselves and learn new, uh, learn new techniques to deal in a career, we will be pushed to the next level. Not everybody becomes the CEO of a company. Not everybody becomes a president of the country. Not everybody becomes a prime minister. So please remember, there are, there are thousands of people who join as civil servants, IAS officers. How many of them become the foreign minister or how many of them reach that secretary level? Not all. So in every field, there will be categories of people. It's up to them how much they can push themselves. So if this is inculcated in school level, that you can make yourself capable of pushing yourself a little more, I'll help you to shift you to the next level. What's wrong? In fact, even, even amongst the high performers, I had the tendency of helping children to uh, give them next class level worksheets. Those who were fast doers, those who could do the worksheets very fast, my method was give them if they are in grade 3, then give them a grade 4 worksheet of addition challenge their ability so they will not distract in the class they will challenge their brain and remain focused yes there is a little extra effort from the teacher but my question is then why did i become a teacher i did not become a teacher to sell vegetables i did not become a teacher to sell saris to everybody i became a teacher to bring that shift in the life of the child and if i don't take that extra effort that extra shift is not going to happen. And I am sure all of you are of that kind who are attending this workshop who believes in this extra shift. Otherwise, like millions of people who have still not joined this group, you also wouldn't have. You feel for these children. You feel they can do and that's why you are a part of this group. And that is why I am happy. My mission of helping 1 lakh children will definitely be fulfilled 
because of you thank you so much and now see you in the next slide